Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to share with you today is really the learning stages and the process that you may be going through as you're trying to learn to trade, whether you're trying to day trade, swing trade, what's kind of the process and procedures that your mind might be uh, going through. Of course, there's going to be many more stages beyond what I'm going to cover in this video, but just give you some thoughts and takes on maybe the procedure that you'll be going through um, as you continue to evolve and grow. Now, before we get into that area, I do want to show you there is a great getting started uh, uh, page on our website. So if you go to tradersfly.com, it's all about getting started and a getting started guide for learning. And if you're educating, getting started with learning to trade stocks. So there's some more in here, trading how it's personal, trading online, learning how to trade online, uh, the fastest way to learn, learning to trade with free content, uh, books, great video courses, chat rooms, a smart way to learn to trade, um, and much more other great resources there as well. So anyways, check that out. But let's get started kind of, I'll give you some uh, thoughts and insights behind uh, learning to trade and maybe some of the processes and things you might be going through. So stay tuned. All right, so really when we look at getting started, uh, learning to trade, there's a lot of different steps and procedures that you might be going through. Ultimately, what I find that a lot of people do when they're first getting started is they're, they're kind of interested in the stock market. So the first biggest thing is really uh, interest. So once you have interest, this leads kind of to the next thing. And the interest might be for all sorts of reasons. Uh, usually money is the first, uh, but um, some of the th concepts is maybe because you don't have the time to work, uh, I find also maybe the physical ability. So uh, I've had a lot of people in the army, armed forces, um, you know, had a physical condition, car accident that try to get in trading. And really it's not because they're looking for the, for the money. Yes, they're, they're looking for money in a sense, but really it's a job replacement because of their physical condition, uh, which gives them a little more flexibility on, on the time front. So anyways, uh, you start with the interest and then you start getting into um, the research. So as you uh, search, here, research, tough to uh, write and talk at the same time sometimes. Uh, anyway, so as you get into research, you start trying to figure out, oh, how does this work? Um, you know, how does it, is it tough um, or difficult? How does it all work? What do I need? And how do I kind of uh, get started? So how do I really start this journey? And, and can I make it? Will I be a successful yeah, in it. So will I be able to win? Um, so you get into interest, you get into the research, and then you start yourself off. So as you get started, this is really where, you know, you line up with a broker, um, get yourself educated on the platform. Um, you might try and do some practice trading, uh, but then you might go ahead and place a few trades. Now this starts to stem into other areas. So now all of a sudden, as you start placing a few trades, you might be doing some day trading because this is what got you interested in trading. Maybe you're trying to make money every single day. Uh, you might have went into investing longer term. So these are complete opposite spectrums. A lot in long-term investing, you might be holding positions for months or years. Uh, day trading, you're going to go ahead and get in and out of the positions um, on a single day. There's also things like uh, swing trading, and then eventually you might get into maybe option trading somewhere down, down the road, depending on how things go. So trading options as well. So there's a lot of different areas that you could go into and really it's what caught your interest, what makes sense for your interest, what makes sense kind of for your goals based on these interests. And that's how typical the journey starts. Now, eventually as you kind of start dabbling into this and sometimes during this research stage, what may happen is that you start piling things in for your uh, education. So uh, all this starts coming in from uh, the research stage and maybe when you're learning the platform and also you're starting to do the trading. So here you get into books, uh, video courses or videos on YouTube. You get into courses. Uh, some people do one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, which are very good. But of course, uh, books are the uh, free content is the cheapest form, but it takes the longest, right? You see ads, you got to hunt for things. Um, books are kind of the next stage, uh, but you got to kind of dissect things. There's not a lot of pictures. 
courses are the next best bang for your buck as far as um, uh, getting the actual material and then one-on-one -on -one is more expensive but you really get into things very quickly and it's very specific to you. So, um, you know, if, if I could do anything um, to, to learn anything, learn guitar, to play tennis better, one-on-one, -on -one, of course, is the best way, but it's also the most expensive. So anyways, as you get into this, you're taking your option trading and you're trying to learn one-on-one. -on -one. You're taking your swing trading and you're trying to get more education. You're day trading and trying to get more education. And eventually, you kind of go back and forth. So you'll go ahead and you'll learn a little bit. And you'll go back and you try to trade a little more. You'll go back, you try to invest a little more. So this is the typical approach that most people have is that they go back and forth. And sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's not a, a it, it's a miss. And what typically stumbles a lot of people is that they go ahead and maybe they look at books, they go ahead and look at some videos, they might even buy a course or two. But I find the one big drawback that really stops people is they don't really look at themselves personally on a one-on-one. -on -one. And this seems to separate a lot of the winners from the losers is that um, when you look at the people that lose consistently time and time again, there's even people who are into education, even people who are trying to study, trying to learn a lot of things and invest in the education part uh, that's external, like books, uh, video courses or free videos. They're not necessarily looking at themselves one on one or getting another person's uh, perspective. And this is where those uh, one on one coaching sessions uh, really help out. So definitely check that out because now you're looking at yourself in the mirror with someone else looking at you and telling you kind of the truth of what you should work on, exercises you should do, things you should do to practice, um, you know, different kinds of material you should study. And that's ultimately what we work on when I work with someone one-on-one -on -one is, hey, these are the things you should do over the next two to three months and then let's check in and let's see how that, that's progressing. Um, but I find that this is kind of the general journey that people take. And if you're kind of stumbling right here and maybe you're just in the interest part, I don't know where you are personally. If you're just interested in it, take a look at a lot of the free videos that we have available. Then you'll see, is this kind of what you want to do? Um, then you might be in the research phase. Maybe you're trying to see, hey, can I go ahead and make this work and go ahead and uh, you know, switch from a job to maybe trading more consistently. Uh, switch maybe from... Um, you know, uh, spending uh, less time at work and more time with the family, doing a little bit less on your business and maybe a little more time with the family, uh, helping out a loved one, maybe one of your loved ones was injured in a car accident. So again, everybody's at a different stage. And as you continue to go through this process, you might get a stumbling block. And what it's important for you to understand is that what is the thing that'll take you to the next stage is probably the thing that you're not doing. Right. If you're struggling with the platform, you're probably not getting the education uh, for that platform. You're probably not reaching out. Even if you're looked at videos, if you still don't get it, then it's probably wise to get some one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, if you're doing a lot of paper money, but you're not putting on trades, again, that's a stumbling block. What's the next stage is to place trades, right? So you got to start looking at it. What are the roadblocks in to get to your next stage and level. And many people that watch the videos that I've produced are at that education stage. They're watching free videos, but they might not be buying a book or a course. And that's really what separates a lot of people that take action and become successful, or people that just kind of dabble around in it, have some interest, kind of like uh, playing soccer in Little League. You just play a little bit, uh, but then you never really progress to anything fantastic or amazing. So look at this and look at your stage and see where you're at and see what is it that you could do to take it to the next stage. Because investing in a book is probably less than $20 uh, if you haven't purchased a book on trading or investing. Investing in a video course is probably you know less than $300, $400 if you've never purchased a course. Take a chance and see what happens because if, if it's not your fit, then, okay, well, maybe at worst you lost out a few hours of your time and $400, but at best, it might take you to that next step. And if you've already done these things and you're still struggling, well, you might not be putting the puzzle pieces together and it might be wise to get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session so that way you could go ahead and see what is it the things that you may need to work on, maybe things you're not seeing. And that's a tough look because it's like saying, looking in the mirror and saying, hey, I'm a little overweight or I need to go to the gym or I need to eat more healthy or I need to be a little more respectful or I need to be a little more kind or a little more giving. 
it's very tough for people to say those kinds of things and admit to themselves. So anyways, that's kind of a basic guideline for you to some things to think about as you progress in your journey, learning styles, and development. This video wasn't about, you know, um, trading technical analysis. It's about you. It's about progressing you further. And I hope it gave you some thoughts and insights and things to think about. All right, so if you're interested in a coaching session, then definitely check out our website at tradersfly.com. There's a coaching area right there, a button that'll take you to it. And uh, when you click that, you can get some more insights um, and even a quick little video clip that's uh, about what it's all about when it comes to coaching, what are the things that we can cover, and uh, a few little clips from previous coaching people. And if you wanna invest in your education, like uh, books and courses, check out the products area. Uh, there's books and there's some courses there that can definitely help you out uh, to getting started with trading and investing. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking the link right here or join me on the newsletter list so you get notified as we release other courses, live webinars, events, um, discounts, promotions as well from time to time during the holiday seasons by clicking the link over here and getting on the newsletter list. Thanks again and remember to do what you love, contribute to others, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.